So, in the past I made many gel electrolytes for different types of battery projects. And I also already make some videos about this topic, which in one video I make some polymer gel electrolyte based on PVA, and in another video I make some gel electrolyte based on gelatin. So, because the gel electrolytes are really interesting for the batteries and supercapacitors, for this reason, in this video, I will make another polymer gel electrolyte, which is really, really simple to make. And yeah, I choose to make this polymer gel electrolyte only because, like I said before, it's really simple to make, and also all the materials which you will need to make one are really easily to find. Because only what you will need will be some PVA, which in my case, I will use this PVA glue, which is actually the wood glue. The electrolyte, in my case I will use these two more of zinc sulfate, but in your case you can use whatever salt electrolyte you want. And the crosslinker will be the borax. So this polymer gel electrolyte is based on PVA and borax. And then in the end you will get something like this. So this is this uh, PVA Borax Polymer Gel Electrolyte, which right now is dried out. But also in this dried form, uh, this polymer gel is really flexible and also really, really strong. Very nice. And now how to make this PVA Borax Polymer Gel. So first I will start with the borax, uh, but I already make some solution of the borax. So into 30 milliliters of water, I add one teaspoon of borax. So here I have 30 milliliters of water and one teaspoon of borax. And now I will prepare the, the mix of the PVA. So I will use um, around 10 grams of PVA. Okay. Then I will add 5 grams of water. Okay, almost 6 grams. But this is not the problem. And now I will also add 5 grams of Two more of zinc sulfate. Okay. So the ratio between your electrolyte water to the PVA is around 50-50. Now in this case, right now in this mix, you can also add some additives, uh, like for example, you can add some glass fibers to strengthen uh, the polymer gel film, because this polymer uh, gel film uh, acts like electrolyte and also separator. And adding some uh, glass fibers, for example, you will strengthen the film. So you need to actually experiment with uh, different additives 
uh, you can also experiment with different uh, amounts and you will see what you will get okay that's it and now I will add this solution of the borax a little bit a little bit more okay And now for the demonstrating, I will make some really simple cell. So remember that this polymer gel electrolyte is used for the electrolyte and also the separator, which means that in this case, you don't need to use some extra separator. But uh, what you will actually need is some active material. So here I have uh, the positive current collector, which is made from this graphite plate. And on this graphite plate, you also need to put some sort of active material, which can be actually whatever you want. Uh, so you can put some manganese dioxide if you want, uh, some activated carbon powder or something similar. So in my case, instead of uh, activated carbon powder, I will use this activated carbon felt, which I will put on the top of this graphite plate. And then on the top, I will put this polymer gel electrolyte. Okay, and now on the top I will put some zinc. And the zinc gel battery is actually ready. But what is also really important to know is the thickness of the film. So when you cast the film, it's also really important that the film will be not too thick. Because uh, more thicker will be the film, uh, worse will be the performance of the battery. The recommended thickness uh, of the film will be in the range from 1 to 2 millimeters. And now I will charge the cell for several minutes and then I will see what I will get. Now that cell was charging for 3 minutes, um, I will just disconnect that cell from my power supply and I will see if this cell right now can run this drone motor.
in there. So that they don't have any problems to run this drum motor. So guys, how to make this polymer gel electrolyte based on PVA and borax. So that's it for now and we see us in the next video.